As we look at the royalty framework, it's important to be aware of how royalty rates, oil and gas production, and investment are all linked. Let's take oil and gas wells and oil sands projects as a starting point. Those produce oil and gas, which an energy company sells at market prices. But it costs money to get that oil and gas out of the ground. Usually the company has taken on debt to pay for things, so it will have to pay interest to the bank too. And then there's other taxes and charges, including municipal taxes and payments made to landowners. And of course, the company is going to pay royalty to Albertans. All those operating costs, charges, and fees are taken out of the total value, and whatever's left is the cash flow the company has left to work with. It can take some of that cash and pay dividends to its shareholders, which could include your pension plan. The company might pay off some debt. Because oil and gas wells decline over time, one of the things that the company has to do, if it wants to keep operating or growing, is drill for more oil and gas to replace what's been produced. So companies will undertake capital investment each year to explore and produce more oil, gas, and oil sands. Ideally, companies will invest that capital back in Alberta, because that translates into lots of jobs and money for Alberta families. As a result of that investment in drilling, more oil and gas is produced, and the cycle starts all over again. But instead of investing here in Alberta, a company can choose to take its investment elsewhere, and this is where issues like royalty rates and other policies come in. If royalty rates are too high, then a company might take the money it earned from Alberta's resources and reinvest it back in another place that offers lower rates and better opportunity. On the other hand, if royalties are too low, then Alberta risks getting a flood of investment with everybody trying to drill and build at the same time. And that just pushes costs up for everyone. So when we're looking at the royalty framework, we're trying to find that sweet spot where we'll attract the right level of capital investment, keep Alberta's economy moving, and ensure Albertans, as owners, are getting a return on their resources.